Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create these cat ears for necklaces or for games and stuff like that. So let's start. Press Shift A on your keyboard, go to Curve, Path. Move the path to the area of the head and adjust it at the side where you should be the ear would go and use S to scale. Then press shift A again, go to curve, nerve circle. And place it near where the ear is going to go and where the path is. Then select the path, go to here to the object data properties, then to the geometry section to bevel so in the object, select the nerves circle and a mesh will appear. Selecting the mesh, go to object mode and select edit mode. Then press the corner part and then press Alt S to scale it down and just select the different dots and scale it until you have the type of ear shape you want once you have the ear shape you want select the nerve circle and change into edit mode then Select one of the middle sections on one of the sides and push it inwards. If the one you selected is not the correct side, just select the other dots until you find the correct side. If it wasn't the correct side, just press Ctrl C to undo it. If it is, just push it inwards until you have an ear-like shape that you like. Once that's done, we're going to mirror this. We're going to do this by going to the modifier section, add modifier, mirror, and then select your object. As you can see, it's mirrored. If you like what you see, then just go here and go to Object, Convert to, and Mesh. And now it's Mesh. To make it less lower poly, because right now it's high, higher polygon, go to Add Modifier, Decimate, change this to Unsubdivide, and then just increase the number until you have it as low as you want. You can also use the planar. If you don't plan on animating it, you can use planar, which will increase it even further than on subdivide. You can use collapse, but this will make 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 it triangles instead and weird boxes and stuff instead of a more clean mesh. Once that's done, you can just go to here, to this arrow, and hit Apply, or press Ctrl A, or just go to Object and Convert to Mesh. It's gonna be like that for now. Now, Shift A again, go to Curve, Path, place it again. And we're gonna add a little bit of hairs. If you don't want any hairs on your model and you just want the back mesh, then you're already done. You just have to convert it and you can continue on. But if you want to add a few hairs, do what I'm doing right now. Now go to Shift A, add another curve, 
of this time a circle curve. Place it near. I'm going to make it a bit smaller. Select the path. Go to geometry. Go to bevel. Select that circle. And now we have a cylinder. S to scale. Go to edit mode. And just scale it. And move it so that it looks like if it was here. Adjust the position and now just press Shift D. E. And now you have another one. And just adjust this one. Shift D. E. And just add until you're happy with the result. If you're happy with the result, select all the paths that you've created and then press Object, Convert to Mesh and these will convert them all to mesh. Now, while having them all selected, go to the modifier section, decimate, then I change to wireframe mode to C, go to unsubdivide, and unsubdivide it so it's lower polygon. As you can see here, the face count has decreased by a lot. But as you can see, only one has changed and not all of them. To change all of them, press Ctrl L and then select Modifiers. So now all of them have changed to match this one. If you like the result, just go to Object, Convert to Mesh with all of them selected, and now all the modifiers have been applied. And now just add some colors if you want. And if you want to mirror it to the other side, just do the same thing. Select mirror, select the object, press Ctrl L, modifiers, and then convert to mesh. And there you go. Some simple, basic, low-poly cat ears. If you already converted these to mesh, you can delete the circles. And there you go. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you want to get notified for more tutorials. Bye bye!